Okay, question 11. We've got a nice question here. It's just off the bottom. It asks us to rotate the triangle 90 degrees clockwise about the point zero zero. Well, this is quite difficult um, because it's much easier with tracing paper. So I'll step you through it, but you kind of have to bear with me. It's not going to be an exact solution on the computer. So let's. Let's draw this up. So if I draw this shape here, and I draw around my shape here, the triangle I want to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So let's just put those all together. So I've now got a shape. Well, I want to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So I can rotate around this. Um, clockwise goes this way. And that means I want to go 90 degrees, which is just a quarter turn. So I want to end up with it like that. Now, any triangle put anywhere in this orientation, so 90 degrees clockwise, is going to get you one of the two marks available, but we have to put it in exactly the right place. It's asking us to rotate about the point zero, zero. So it means that if I draw this little leg in here, it means that has got to go 90 degrees clockwise as well. So if I get this, and I know it's not in the right place, but with tracing paper you can kind of stick your pen in here, right in the middle, or the rotation point, center of rotation, and it tells us that rotating 90 degrees clockwise is this point here is going to have to rotate. From up here, it's going to have to rotate. down here. So that means my triangle in the right orientation, this corner here, which was this corner, has to go into this point here. Now like I say, it's much easier to do with tracing paper, but we can check with the other corners as well to check that they all move in the same way. So let's just take one just out of interest. Let's pick that corner there, and we should, if we rotate it around, 90 degrees clockwise, we'll see that actually that corner has moved in the same place. So all the corners have moved exactly as we expect. It's got 90 degrees clockwise, but use tracing paper in your exam. Always ask for it. Stick your pencil in there, spin it around, get it into the right place. To get it in the right place is the second mark. Getting it the right way, pointing the right way, is the first mark.